the reason I'm dressed so nice is because I did have everything. I was a, a successful person and now I have nothing. So that's something that uh, we may be seeing more of is people that are doing this, but they weren't poor until recently. And she's obviously made a go of uh, sending that message in her clothing. God bless you. Thank you. So I, I've never seen anyone standing on a roadside like this who was dressed as nicely as you are. To me, I, I, is this something that, that you were forced into just by this recent crisis? or, yes. And that's why you're dressed so well? Uh, well, I, I lost everything. Um, I lost a husband last year and I uh, lost everything else after that. You know, um, my apartment, everything. So I'm living in, a, in my van. And uh, right now I have applications out there and when it first hit people were saying they had signs for hire and then they didn't uh, hire because of uh, the, the crisis, the corona crisis. And I think it's still pretty much in full bloom and they're lifting up uh, the, all the restrictions even though um, this, this virus thrives in humidity and stuff like that in summer and rain. That, it's just very scary altogether, and right now, um, with all the applications I have out there, I still haven't been able to get hired anywhere. I've had a couple of interviews, but they haven't gone anywhere for me. And the reason I'm dressed so nice is because I did have everything. I was a, a successful person, and now I have nothing. And um, um, so it's um, really depressing, really depressing. Who do you think, I mean, do you blame any person or institution or just the disease or? It's, I, it's, uh, I, I blame uh, inhumanity. Yeah, people not caring for one another to end up in a position where they have to live with animals to get into this disease. You know, uh, like having very close quarters in China where they have to raise their animals and be in the same habitat together where this, where this all ar arrived from. And, uh, and if people were to care more about one another, and this wouldn't have ever happened to begin with. Do you want to give me your name? I, I prefer not to. That's fine. Oh, but um, so I, I usually try to keep my life more private. Yeah. I just uh, I feel sorry for a lot of people out there that have uh, they are going through the same situation that I am, and I know there's a lot of people out there that are begging for other purposes. I'm not begging for drugs. I'm not begging for alcohol. I'm not a drug addict or an alcoholic. I'm just begging just to feed myself and gas my car and try to save up to have my own place and try to move on with life. I'm, I'm just trying the best that I can to survive right now. What did you do before? Um, I, uh, I was in construction. Um, I was doing uh, siding, roofing, decking, um, horticulture. I went to college for uh, horticulture. And uh, yeah, I was a, a pretty well put together person. Okay. I appreciate your time. Um, I'm going to get a couple shots of your sign and, and, and of what you're doing, if that's all right. Okay. All right. Thanks. Is there anything else that you wanted to add? God bless everybody and please stay safe and keep your children and your parents safe. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'll let you do your thing and I'll just step back because you'll probably be interacting with other people.
Could I, could I talk to you real quick for my YouTube channel? Oh, oh thanks. What, what made you decide that you wanted to give to her? Well, I don't usually because I'm afraid they're going to do it for drugs, but I'm a mother. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm hoping. It's, are you taping my voice? Oh, yeah, if that's okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. I feel bad for people who are homeless, believe me. If I had a magic wand, there wouldn't be any such thing. Okay, thanks, ma'am.